Hi, this is Jeremy Shires from StartingArithmetic.com. I want to share with you how you can use your fingers to count through the three and four times tables. Each finger has three creases. There are four fingers on one hand. So we can use the creases to count through the three and the four times tables. Counting up the fingers, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're counting through the three times table. When you reach the last crease of the fourth finger, you can either move to the other hand or simply continue from the beginning. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And you can keep going as long as you want. Moving across the hand, we have the four times tables. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And as before, you can simply go around, starting from the beginning. This isn't the only way that you can count through the tables. You could use a ruler with numbers on, like this one. Or you could use a number grid, such as this. This is one that you can download from startingarithmetic.com. However, you may not have a ruler or a number grid to hand, but you'll always have your fingers. As an added bonus, you can also step through the 2 and the 12 times tables using your fingers. Here's the 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. We have 12 creases on the fingers of one hand. We have five digits on the other hand. So we can use the two hands to count through to five times 12, which is 60. And as before, if you want to go higher, you just cycle round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Use the index finger to go from 13 to 24, the middle finger to go from 25 to 36, the fourth finger to go from 37 to 48, and the fifth finger, or the little finger, to go from 49 to 60. If you found these ideas of value, and you have children or grandchildren who are learning their times tables, I'd like you to share these ideas with them, but more, I'd like you to practice with them until they become completely confident. If you don't have children or grandchildren who are learning their times tables, would you share it with a friend who does? Why not stop by startingarithmetic.com slash blog for more great ideas on learning times tables and arithmetic in general. This is Jeremy Shires from startingarithmetic.com. Thank you for your time.